Workspace ONE UEM is a single solution for modern over-the-air management of desktops, mobile, rugged, wearables and IoT. Reduce costs, boost productivity and deliver a great employee experience with intelligence-driven, cloud-first UEM. Deliver unprecedented levels of process automation, unrivaled device and application management and enterprise-level security at every level. So on your desktop, go ahead and open your browser. Once you're there, just log into cloud.vmware.com. You can use your my.vmware.com account to log in or the account the license has been assigned to you by VMware. Then just click Next and you'll see the password box and from there, of course, enter your password and click Sign In. Once you're logged in, you'll be able to see buttons for VMware Marketplace, Horizon Cloud Service, Workspace ONE or any other services that you've enrolled in or have purchased from VMware. But today we're going to be looking at Workspace ONE, so go ahead and click on the Workspace ONE button to continue. From here, we can access Workspace ONE Access, the Unified Endpoint Manager or UEM, Workspace ONE Intelligence and other services. But for now, let's start with Unified Endpoint Management by clicking on the Manage button just here. Just quickly while it's on the screen, if you want to enrol yourself in testing out the next generation of Workspace ONE products, you can follow the instructions here. But for now, we're going to skip this. Right, so this is the admin space for Workspace ONE UEM, and it's the starting point for all the configurations, including mobile device management, content management, application management, etc. So now let's take a look at Workspace ONE Access. Head back to the main console and click the Manage button under Workspace ONE Access. Right, so this is the admin page for Workspace ONE Access. From here, we can control identity and access management, create virtual apps and loads more. But for the moment, let's take a brief look at the Access Dashboard. End users can access the console by placing their personal URL directly into the browser address bar. After that, they just need to fill out their username and password in this entry box, from which they'll be able to see their own catalogue. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.